Another day. <laughs> Discord not tell I'm streaming? Discorder. Should pick it up, right? There we go. <laughs> Erg ads. <laughs> Before, oh, oh, I see, because you're on a prime thing. I see. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, well, 120 degrees problem. I'd be done to do that. Thank you, 3VT, for 18 months. Oh wait. <laughs> oh, I literally put the 120 degree thing in an Otis unit and I forgot about it. <laughs> I didn't actually... Yeah, this is what happens when you don't do the problem yourself. <laughs> Jesus. Uh... Do Pascal on Dotted. But see, when you use Pascal on Dotted, that's just bro card, right? Like, if you use Pascal with, like, two tangent things, it's it's just bro card. Um... Uh, am I behind? I hope I'm not behind. No, we're not doing the chappy. Oh my god. I couldn't even do like the original. I'll forget the strength inversion. <laughs> Mm. 
Hmm. Oh. No, yeah, if you check the AOPS thread, like, Arquati just posted, like, a stronger version. I was just like, dear god. Um... Because the original already wrecked me really hard. <laughs> Riven and it's a po oh no wait I think we tried this problem briefly already and didn't get anywhere. Um, yeah, I forget which stream it was. I think we like briefly tried it, and I was just like after like twenty minutes, I was like I, I don't want to do this problem anymore. <laughs> I don't because I was just like uh, I uh, I don't know I I okay I'm I'm kind of like a little biased against like Diophantine equations where um it's a polynomial in every unknown uh I can sure I can refund the channel points that that is the thing we can do uh, oh there's a bunch of stuff left over from yesterday too Let's, let me refund those as well bum boom bum. Show that AX one. Oh, doesn't matter. It's not a real problem. Okay, I mean, if that's what you want. Consider a square eventually. Paya. I wonder, I feel like they should just. Oh, uh, actually, maybe that's more annoying. Yeah, probably they meant possibly degenerate. Um, Alright. Okay, uh. When does voting start? Um. However long it takes me to set up the poll. So usually what happens is I wait until either there's like five-ish problems or until it's been like more than 20 minutes. Um, and we're at five-ish problems, so I can just set up. Maybe. Depends on how fast my fingers can type. Uh, you guys are all... Oh my lord. Why is there another long list problem? <laughs> is this one doable? Uh... I think technically I did the BAMO problem like four years ago during a test solve of the BAMO problem bank. Uh, but I have like absolutely no memory of it, so... It's probably fine anyways. Oh, crap.
I'm just gonna write Harvey Freeman's problem because I don't. The problem is the so when I stream, I use a separate account that's like not connected to my main accounts because I'm paranoid I'm going to like, you know, accidentally open something confidential because I have a bunch of confidential stuff of various things. Uh. So I can't actually get the. Friedman problem from this account. Yeah, yeah. I'm just really paranoid. <laughs> like, when I started streaming, I'm like, one day I'm going to, like, you know, accidentally open the TST score spreadsheet on the stream and it's going to be a disaster. Um, so, separate quarantine account. <laughs> That's why there's a V Enhanced Gaming account, is because. I don't want to connect it to my main one. <laughs> uh, what's wrong with that? I mean, I'm not sure every person... I don't know. I, I, I actually have, I don't actually know what they publish on the... Um, in the bar... I know they put everything in bar charts for reasons unknown to mankind and... Um, but I don't know if they like tell you t like pro problem distribution. I don't know. I I'm sure that it's not a good thing because I think like you could probably figure out people's scores if you had enough data, just like from things. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, even if it's just still by ID, I don't want to deal with it, right? Like. But also that was just an example, like, I could also accidentally open, like, the use of a score spreadsheet, which is also by ID, but, you know, is not supposed to be published. <laughs> okay, okay, uh, one more. Or like I open my diary or something, right, by accident. <laughs> oh yeah, I have a diary. It's actually very long. Um, Cause I have this like deep existential fear that like um, anything that I forget might as well have not happened. You, you all probably know this, right? I document, like, literally everything I can, and, like, I do this for my life, too. Um... But... Yeah. Yeah, I have a diary. It's currently... Um... On... Volume 10, page 1529, section 1707. Uh, so... That exists. Uh... <laughs> It's, it's a little less impressive than it seems because a lot of them are just like images. Like I'll take a picture of something and then I'll like put it in the file. Um, but... Okay. I don't know how many times this EOF problem has been submitted by now. I feel like this is like the fifth or fifth time at least. <laughs> Though.
Uh, no, it's, it's, I, wait, what? EOF? EOF, I think, has showed up a lot of times, but I think people never vote for it because it's like, there's a min-max in it, so it looks really... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, uh, I-1974. Wait, oh, hang on, what the heck? Okay, I think the longest problem will take us is a total of, like, not very many seconds. <laughs> Algebraic number theory, Kappa. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna vote for the Bamo Geo, because I think that will also be pretty quick. Uh, unclear. I forgot what I changed the settings to. Nine. Okay, very cool. Um. <laughs> Bro, you didn't even- I, I, I explained to you that on this computer, I don't have access to the Otis Discord. So, like... I can't- I actually just can't pull it up, because I deliberately disconnected it. You sent it. Where did you send it? Uh... Chat somewhere. Oh. Uh. Sorry, I totally missed that. Okay. That I do know how to do synthetically. Um, I see. Well, throw it on AOPS and someone might get it, <laughs> I guess. Or you can wait till next week, as we do. All right, uh, BAMO, RMM, and then everything else is tied. All right, that's fine. Yeah, I, I think if you put a problem on AOPS and it has like a reasonable synthetic solution, like you'll just get a solution in like, up like, 48 hours on average, maybe. Maybe less than that, I don't know. Depends on how, how hard the synthetic solution is. But, um... <laughs> yeah, crowdsourcing is really strong. <laughs> okay, let's do the... Let's do the Chavian Zoo first. Oh yeah, okay, whatever. Ch Chavian Zoo. Um, I think Ch Chavian Zoo is the internal code name for the BAMO problem, I think. Maybe, I might be just remembering because this is also like four years ago. More than four years? More than four years. The test solve was a while ago. Okay, welcome back. So, um, you have in this problem we have a triangle, and we take like the foot of the. Wait, what? Actually, what is this? <laughs> you take the foot of the altitude, the median, and the ang foot of the angle bisector, and the. You're told that okay. I, pr I probably need my whiteboard for this. Actually, I don't think I can do this with just text. Uh, you're told that it's equilateral, and you want to show ABC is equilateral. Technically, the problem says if and only if, but like, come on, one, one direction's obvious. 
it's square. Uh, so, interesting part. Um, you get the medial triangle. We'll call it the medial triangle. Okay. Oh, I still have a bunch of stuff left over from last time, huh? Is my pencil dead? Is that is that the issue? I thought I had a backup. Uh, no, it's not dead. Okay, cool. Um, not very. All right, cool. Here's a triangle, I guess. Uh, a, B. Okay, so what? Do, so what do we get? One of them's the midpoint. Um, one's the altitude, and one's the foot of the bisector. Okay, so I guess the big thing is that one of these pairs is really nice, which is this one. Like, B prime, A prime is actually, um... Just, like, half AC. Always. Like, even without the equilateral condition, we, we always have this red segment. Um, so... If it's equilateral, then that tells us that... Uh... C prime, you know, is also like that. So... This semicircle should pass through C prime, ergo this should be a right angle. And because this is also an angle bisector, um, I think that gives us. Hang on. So like, okay, C C prime is going to be an angle bisector, but it's also like because of the red thing I drew, you get the right angle. So that implies, actually, I think CA just equal to CB now, and this is also a midpoint. Um, more importantly, this angle is also 60 degrees. So, um, by the inscribed angle theorem, or whatever you want to call it, uh, this guy is also 30 degrees. So 30. So angle C is 60. And we're done. Yeah! Okay, uh, that was actually a lot faster than I thought it was. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, very good. Um... How about the other direction? Oh, come on, man. Um... Okay, uh, nice. Uh, cool. Let me quickly write this up. Am I worried about like any edge case where No, I think once acute triangles are always yeah, no it's fine, right? The in I don't think the inscribed angle part depends on Hang on. I I'm like worried the triangle might be obtuse and like A prime might be outside, but I don't think that's an issue. Uh I think it's just fine. Yeah, this is just fine. Um, I 
Yeah, I don't think it matters. Okay, yeah, I think we're fine. Uh... Okay, one direction is obvious. Okay. Um Okay, I will not be too I will not be lazy and I will actually draw a diagram. Uh What's a good diagram to draw? Um Okay, let's do let's use these parameters. 220, 320, and 120. And then a prime equals foot ABC, B prime equals midpoint AC, C prime equals. Um, I'm going to draw a picture for which it's isosceles at the C, because I think that's probably the most informative. Um, ABC cycle 0 0.1 cyan blue. prime red and then circumcircle a a prime c red and then c c prime deep cyan Have you done 2006 G10? Um, didn't that problem, isn't that actually on the IMO? Like it's not just a shortlist problem, right? It was actually selected. Is my memory? Um, note that A prime unconditionally lies on the circle with diameter AC centered at B prime, meaning A prime B prime equals B prime A equals B prime C. So if A prime B prime C prime was equilateral, then C prime would lie. Wait, shit. I fucked up the picture. <laughs> See if I'm supposed to lie on the circle. Uh... Oh, come on. Um, um, shit. Sorry, let me try that again. Uh, 220, 320, 420. Hey, how, how do you do this? What, what, what do I put for A to make it work? <laughs> Shit, I think I I think I fucked this up. Uh three four eighty three sixty. Does that work? Yeah, that's better. Um Y on the circle as well. Since C prime was an angle bisector, and then to finish, note that angle C prime B prime A prime equals half angle C prime C B was angle A C B. Okay, we're done. Uh, kill this extra new line. Okay. 
Wait, there's an A ops thread? Is it funny? Okay, of course there's an A ops thread. Eh, what? Uh, I gotta see this. Uh, I do think this is a good beginner problem. Like if you if you're learning geo, I think this problem is fairly instructive. Uh, What is the inverse assault? <laughs> See, now people are naming techniques after techniques after me that I don't like. Where I don't even know what they are. It's the opposite of when I was in high school and I was really bored and thought it would be a good idea to name the barrier perpendicular after myself, which uh, was a mistake. <laughs> because that name, it. Now I'm trying to get rid of that name and I can't. <laughs> uh. Yeah, that, that was a mistake. I don't know why I thought that would be funny. Um, also, this should be two and not half, right? This should be two. Um, Uh, oh yeah, there's also something... I need to put a great rectangle there, don't I? So I feel like otherwise it's not readable. Okay, uh, what's next on the list? We were gonna do the RMM one. Okay, cool. Size here larger. Okay, uh, welcome back. So we have a uh, geo with air quotes where you have a square of side length one and you have like n plus one squared interior points. And it said eventually degenerated. We agreed that it should say, like, possibly degenerate, right? Um, yeah. So, I mean, the equality case is, like, literally the lattice is what it's getting at. If you do something like this, um, you know, three points, good for you. And... Can I just divide the square, actually? So... Oh shit, I, I, I fucked up the scaling. This is N. E1. N. Um, no, blue. I want blue. Um, uh, shout out to Love Lost the Game from Main Tortoise, I guess. Um, n squared plus 2n plus 1. 
Hmm. Wait, actually, this is like not a super. Wait, this quality case is kind of dumb, right? Because the points are literally collinear. Like there, there's just like boatloads of. Wait, are, are we sure? It, it wants a. Uh... Can someone check the statement? Something feels off to me because I feel like. I'm not convinced one half is best possible, like at all. Um, or something? Wait, am I stupid head? Triangulate a convex hole. I mean, okay, sure, that probably just works as well. <laughs> Wait, is what, is one half actually best possible though? Like, I feel like, like I thought for a moment this was the equality case, and then I realized like, wait, there's just collinear points. Um, so like for for n equals one and n equals maybe even maybe n equals two. Actually, I'm not even sure n equals two one half is best possible. Like, is is there? Wait, this, this is just bad, right? Like, there's no way one half is... Sorry, I, I feel like I can probably kill the problem at this point because I just realized that it isn't tight. But it feels so weak that I'm wondering if I got the statement correct. The statement is correct? Okay. Um... Yeah, I mean... Blink. Yeah, like this, this is not anywhere remotely sharp. Degenerate means that it's just collinear, like three collinear points. You can, some people will allow this as a triangle with, um, <laughs> Twitch literally sensors. What did you do? Um, uh, degenerate, like, um, wait, how did, okay, I don't know. Um, but yeah, you, some people allow triangles to be area zero for some reason. Um, I guess that makes sense. Uh, yeah. Can we just like triangulate like period? Like... Yeah, I just feel like one half is so bad that um, I'm, I'm kind of confused. Because I forgot, I, I wasn't thinking about collinear points. Um, oh my god, 3v2. Um, yeah. So. So, um. If you just triangulate it, period. Like partition the square into triangles. Um, let me let me think how I want to do this. Um, if you have n plus one squared points, and you do a triangulation allowing degenerate tri so if any three points are collinear, we'll just treat that as uh done. All right, let's, let's just point, assume all the points are not collinear. Um, 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 uh, how come? Oh, that's really annoying actually. So, uh, assumption, no three points collinear for convenience, because if it's collinear points, we're just done. And then you triangulate it, and then there's some points that are inside it, and I see. Okay, that's. I guess that's... They want it so that this case works, I guess?
Okay, wait. How how does how does triangulation work? When when I break everything into triangles, um, v minus e plus f equals two. Uh. <laughs> Oh god, I don't want to do this. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Shit, it depends on how many points you have on the boundary. Um, no, oh, that's annoying, actually. The thing is, like, if you have points that are inside like this, we want to cut it like this as well. So, like, we just want um, to make as many non-overlapping triangles as we can. And I think the claim is that you will not... You will have, like, a lot of triangles because you have a lot of points. Um, am I a crazy person? One half just feels so bad. <sighs> okay, here I'm not actually here's a way that you can do it without V minus E plus F. So we're gonna do this thing where we just like keep drawing segments that don't intersect. Wait, I thought degenerate doesn't count as triangles. Okay, okay, can can someone just check this statement? Yeah, I thought that that is- yeah, that, that's why I got confused. But the problem is that if you don't allow uh, degenerate triangles, then the points could just all be collinear, and now there's no triangles at all. RMM is Romania Masters in Math. Um, yeah. So, that, that like, I was hoping, like, maybe, like, there's something to make the grid actually a sharp equality case. Because it is nice, right? Because you partition the grid into triangles, and it's like... But... But, um, yeah, anyways, um, so if there are, um, let's say there are, like, k points in the convex hole. And there are, the rest of them, we're not, we're not using v minus e plus f, that's too annoying. Um, n plus 1 squared minus k, uh, inside it. All right, then... Each point that's inside is going to contribute 360 degrees, and the convex hole contributes like 180k minus 2 total. Um, so number of triangles is going to be given exactly by 180k minus 2 plus 360 degrees times um, n plus 1 squared minus k divided by 180 degrees, which is the sum of the angles of a triangle. And then I can just expand this, right? Um, oh, actually, hang on. Is it going to give me exactly the thing I want? <laughs> it might give me exactly, like... Okay, so it's like 2n squared plus, like, something times... I don't care about the linear term, honestly, but it's there, so I guess I'll put it in. And then... Oh shit, did I, do I not get enough triangles if... Wait, hang on. If, like, all the points are on the convex hole, how many triangles do I get? There's no way it's sub... Oh, it might be sub 2 and squared. <laughs> Fuck. No! It's minus K. Shit. Uh, no, like, it's it's the convex hole and then everything inside it, right? Like, that's why I drew this picture with, like, a triangle and a dot in it. Like, you... The algorithm is called draw the convex hole and then draw all the segments you can until you can't draw any more segments. And so all the points inside... You actually want points to be inside. Um... Hmm. Now I'm confused, though. Uh... Like, suppose all n plus 1 squared points are in the convex hole, and then you, you get a standard triangulation, right? Um, and how many triangles? You get about as many... Hmm. That's bad. 
Uh, huh. At least three lines for each point inside the convex hull. Um, yes, I agree. Exactly three if you're greedy, probably. But then the areas overlap. Um, can't you draw a KN? Not intersecting. Sorry, not intersecting. Sorry, let me let me be more specific. Um, yeah, if the convex hole has four points, then you're okay. I think I'm worried now that like the convex hole might have. Um, too many points. I actually was. I would, yeah. If the convex hole is too many points, you don't get enough triangles. Um. But you can just triangulate. Am I? Am I? Crack. Yeah, yeah. But the problem is that's not enough triangles, right? Or am, am I bad at counting? Like, if you, if um, yeah. Let's let's do like n equals two or something, right? One. Actually, n equals two is a weird case because nine over four is still more than two. But like, what if all the points are just on a circle and there's like n plus one squared points, and then I like triangulate it, right? So da 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 da. Yeah, whatever. Here, here's like an example of triangulation. Um, and the number of triangles is. In this case, in the worst case, the number of triangles is n plus 1 squared minus 3. Yeah, so the point is, like, when if all the points are on here like this, then there's not enough triangles. Um, which is sad. Uh... But you start with a square. Oh! <laughs> I see! Uh oh, yeah. All right, good job. Um, I see. You're supposed to use the starting square. Um. Uh, is it minus two? Sorry, yeah, you're right. It's minus two. Um, minus two is the number of diagonals. Um. Okay, wait, so if you use the starting square as the convex hole, then your problem is that you might have triangles that use the, um... Does that fix things? I feel like that doesn't fix the issue, right? Like, you start with a square, but you can't use the vertices... Oh! No, 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 no. Um, great, now I'm confused. Uh, you can't use the vertices in the square, right? Like, the vertices of the square aren't points in this set. And maybe what you can do is you can, like, try to... Um, no, I don't see how, actually. Wait, now, I, now I'm confused. Um, like... The sides have n plus 1 points? No, they don't. What? Like, here. H here's the case I'm worried about, alright? Like, here's your square. Here's your square of silent n. And then, inside I'm going to inscribe a circle. And then I'm going to put like n plus 1 squared points equally spaced on the circle. Yeah, you know, the, like the. It's like there's n plus 1 squared interior points. Um, like you. They, they give you this set of n plus 1 squared points and you need to pick three of them. You're not picking the. You're not. You know, the, the, the problem doesn't let you just use the vertices of the square. So this is the actual equality case, I think. I feel like I got baited by the n plus 1 squared, but I feel like this is actually tighter. 
Um, and now the argument that we've been trying to use where you say like, look, um, there's a lot of triangles isn't good enough because when you do a triangulation, you don't get enough triangles. You're off by a factor of two. Um, so this will get you like a triangle with area at most like one-ish. And what's happening is like in in this example, it turns out that the points, uh, the triangles aren't equal in area. Like some of the triangles are much smaller than others, which is why the, actually, how small is it? When there's n plus one squared points on the circle, how, like how big is that um, triangle in terms of like, what's its area? Like the smallest of these. Trig? God damn it. I hate trig though. <sighs> okay, I guess I should figure out how big it is to see how far off I am, right? Um, so it's it's like area. That area is like n half squared times like. So you, you scale down so that it's a unit circle, and then it's like sine of 2 pi over n plus 1 squared. Okay, so it's pretty damn small. Um, <laughs> Times like two. Like, I, I don't really care about it. I think the important thing is that, like, this grows, like, this part grows, like, on the order of, like, n to the minus four. So that red triangle has areas that shrinks as n gets large. Can you actually move the points to the corner? I'm trying. Uh, I don't think you can. I, I, I feel like that doesn't work. But if you can make it work, then we'll be done. <laughs> So this is the true equality case, I th or no, it's not true equality, or it's better than the lattice because the lattice just has areas of tri triangles of area zero. This one, at least like the area goes down in terms of n. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I think I am pessimistic about area sum because in this example, I don't think you can... In the example when they're all in a circle like this, I'm not confident I can triangulate it such that the the areas of the triangles are all about the same. Uh, okay, here's a different thought that I had. Um, rather than trying to... So, we tried an approach that was called, like, dissect the square into triangles and then argue that, like, there's a lot of triangles. But the claim that there's a lot of triangles is false, which is really bad for us. Um, on the other hand... What if we just try to find points that are close together? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dissect... I feel so slimy doing this because I'm using... I'm I'm going to start exploiting the n plus 1 squared. Because this has been bugging me for a while. Why do they pick n plus 1 squared as the number of interior points? At first I thought it was because of the lattice. But the reason that feels weird to me now is because... Uh, well, the lattice is actually not a good example. So that's not why that number is picked. And... What if instead... I broke 
this square into strips of width one. Then, then what that tells me is like there's some strip. There's a one by n strip that has at least n plus three points in it, and that might be good enough. I think that might. If I put n plus three points in here, um. Then what it comes down to is like, if I take the projection, you need three points. Oh, okay, this is a little strange. Um, I feel like I cannot, if you fit n plus three points in here, then you'll have three that are close enough together. I hope. Um, let me let me vet that for like n equals two or something. Because once I'm down to this strip, um. What I can do is I can consider the vertical projection of all the points. And what I want is like... Is that good enough, actually? If I just make the points evenly spaced out... Um... Shit, that's actually still a real one. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, th this isn't sharp enough. Um, I was hoping if I could make it narrower, then I could like project it so that I don't have to think about the convex hole stuff. Um, but I'm not sure that's gonna fly now. Damn. Mm. Why is it n plus one squared? That's the thing that really bugs me. I keep being off by a factor of two is what's happening. Come on, okay. Why is it n plus one squared? The lattice is just not the correct. The lattice has a bunch of collinear points. If you put the lattice onto this strip thing, I'm, what's happening is that you get strips. The strips are really, the reason it's off by a factor of two is like, in the n plus one squared example, um, there is a, but come on, like, But the points are collinear, is the thing. It's like... It's like the... The bad case looks like a zigzag that looks like this. Like what I thought was the bad case. But the problem is like these collinear points are actually good for us. So... I don't know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Wait, now, now I'm confused. And can I fit N plus three points in here? I, I, I'm like not sure now. I thought the zigzag was bad for us. Um, but the zigzag isn't actually bad for us because of the issue where the linear points count for you, not against you. So can I actually fit n plus three points in a strip such that all the areas are? We are still not done. It's RMM. That's 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 supposed to happen. Well, depending on the year, um, but RMM is. RMM used to be known historically for having one force that were actually hard. So I'm like not surprised we're not done yet. Um, uh... Why is it n plus one squared? Why is it n plus one squared? I guess what the, the what the grid is telling us is that um but the grid is so uh, what, what is with the grid? Like one half is there's no way one half is actually the true bound, right? Like it's just no. But I can't get um hmm. I think a bounding box kind of thing will work. Like, I wonder if I...
max distance between two points be x. You want max distance? I would have used min. Because <laughs> like if there's two points really close together, that actually is like causes they they cut out a really big like death ball, right, or something like that. If you cut out... Yeah, the reason I'm like scared of this is because now then pi starts showing up and I don't think pi is a good place to go. I feel like the n plus one squared is trying to tell me something. Um... Yeah, base height one. Um... Because part of the reason I was trying to do the strip thing is if you do the strip thing, then it traps um, the points to like width at most one. So like all the points at least are at least x close together, even if they're not close in y value. Um, I feel like that diagonal is what I really want. Though. What's that? Yeah, because I feel like I keep running into this problem where I I want to like try to get X and Y's that are close um, simultaneously or something like that. Um, and I'm like not getting it, but I feel like I...
Yeah. Here's a thought. Um. Like, I, I, I need to get both X and Y in control at the same time. Like, the thing with the strips, it only controls one of them at once, and that's not good enough. Um, on the other hand... Oh, crap. But I, it's like, I need three points and not just... I don't think this is enough points to work either. That's so... There's this thing called Erdos Zekeris, which promises me that I can find like about n-ish points such that um, the x's and y's are in either all increasing or all, all non-decreasing or not increasing. Sort of like this picture I drew. The problem is I think this is not enough points to um, get a triangle with the property I want either. Because you can get like a staircase or some crap. Yeah, everything's off by like a factor of two. <laughs> this is goddamn. Um... Hmm. How are you? Uh, doing okay. Well, we're we're not we're kind of dying on this problem. Where are you from? Um, I'm in California right now, but normally I'm in. I study at MIT. So, like, damn. Ah, 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 ah. The Zachary, or Erdo Zachary does not buy you enough power either.
I, I, I feel like the bound is super, super bad. I don't believe for a moment you can get anywhere near one half as the... I can find two points that are pretty close to each other, but I don't, can't get- how do you get like three points at a time is the real issue. Uh... Actually, honestly, the two pictures I drew, like the one with the strip that's vertical and the one with the strip that's diagonal are kind of, they're almost the same picture. They're, they're not that different. The point is like, I'm trying to constrain. It's like, I need to do something with two dimensions at once. Yeah, I don't, I believe N squared does not fail. I will be extremely impressed if N squared fails. Um, damn, uh, this is not good. <laughs> what am I supposed to do here?
Uh, um, um, <laughs> fuck. What do I do? I can't, I, I just can't. I need, I need, it's like, the, there's two problems. There, one is that I need three points, not just two. And the other is that I need to control both dimensions at once. It's not enough. If one of the, like, if the two points, if I get three points that are, like, close in X coordinate, but not in Y coordinate, it's not good enough. I wonder if I can do some, like, take a random rotation bullshit. Um, that, that seems pretty bad. <sighs> uh, yeah, no, I think the convex whole thing is just not gonna... Because the problem is, like, you, you can literally just have the points on a circle. And, um, it's just... The the angle, the the shape, the angle kind arguments might be a little more viable. I I think it's still not good enough, but like shit, man. It's so weird because like we we think the true answer is probably like less than like less than a con any constant. Like, one half just seems egregiously bad, and we still can't get it. Which is probably why it's RMM4. <laughs> um, so what do I do with n plus 1 squared? Or, I, I agree a circle doesn't work, but a circle will show that convex hull arguments and like angle-based arguments won't work if they... Like, you, you actually need to find a triangle with small area, because you cannot... Even with triangulations, um, it will not be true that the triangles are close in area. This what's going on. Uh... Yeah, I, I do not believe at all that there is any construction that is um, for large n will do... will not like decrease in n. Like one half just seems so bad. Like, the true answer ought to decrease as a function of n. And that should tell us that this is actually really hard. Like, well, also the fact that we can't get anything. Like, it's just... I need to do something. Um... You, I need to do something bad. I'm. I think all these arguments are too like, are tr are things that should get you close to the true answer. But we know that you can't get close to the true answer easily, because of the what we've seen so far. So I need to do something like, in I, I need to do stuff that looks more stupid. I think. I don't know what that would mean.
Wait, does the complex whole thing actually fucking work? What? Oh, fuck! Oh. If you have a lot of- oh my god, that's- All right, you got me there. <laughs> I see. The, oh, the convex hull is too. If the convex hull has a lot of points, then the average size length. Oh, come on. Are you shitting me? You're kidding, right? Bruh. Oh. That's why they picked M plus 1 squared, isn't it? It's so that this argument works exactly. Right, you should just take- you take three adjacent points on the convex hull. <laughs> That's rough. Yeah, I told you it should decrease in n. Like, there's no way it's close to one half. So, in in our notation, like, what? I, actually, I don't. Whatever. Um, that's actually really tough. Problems that are like this, where like you split the problem in two cases, and the two cases are like not look completely different, is kind of scare me. Just. Automatically, I don't know. We know this is the intended solution now, because oh, but that's so well hidden actually. I I thought that the n plus one squared was like a grid kind of thing, but it's actually just the mm, okay, okay. I see. I I didn't have enough faith. I guess I didn't have enough faith in the argument with the convex hull. I didn't realize that the. It puts such a... Hmm. You take three consecutive points and they're pretty good. I didn't realize that was enough to push it. Because we did the convex hull, we were off by an entire factor of two. And I didn't realize that, like... <sighs> Man. Anti... No, I don't think this is anti. It's a little anti. But I think the only thing that makes it hard is that, like, the true answer is so far off from what you're proving that, like... I don't know. Because normally one of the ways I like try to work on problems is like I ask myself like why can't um if the true answer is k like what's preventing you from doing better than k and if you ask that question you often get a meaningful answer that nudges you towards the right direction but here like 
The Valand is so far from the truth that, like, you don't have that information anymore. Um, okay, consider... Okay. Yeah, no, I totally, like, I think the bound is just hard. Let's suppose the convex hole has k points. Hey, how do you show that the convex hole has perimeter at most four? Is that easy? Three sixty degrees times n plus one squared minus k plus um <sighs> what did we agree this was? Um, God damn it. Uh, 2n squared plus 2n minus 2 minus k. Plus, oh no, there, there's no plus. Uh, k, which is uh, greater than or equal to. Are you sure it's foreign? Why am I off by a factor of two here? Um, uh, minus two k, 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 k. Are you sure it's foreign and not two n? I'm getting two in here. Oh shit, no, I'm a stupid head. You're fine, you're fine. Uh, this is this one's for four. The sum of the areas of the triangles is at most n squared, so we're done. The total area of the square. Okay, wait, so how do, how do I show that the perimeter is at most 4 <laughs> in a convex polygon inside a square? <laughs> Let a1, a2, ak be the side lengths of the convex hole in order. We will, sh we will, we will show that um, we can take three consecutive vertices on it. Some three consecutive vertices of the whole.
Wait, so can, 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 can someone proof this stupid foreign thing? I, I, I can see like a really annoying proof, but I really don't want to do it. The convex polygon contained inside the square has perimeter plus 4n. And so we may do Well, actually, hang on. Wait, now, now I'm... So the average... I'm not interested in the average, right? I want like A1, A2 plus A2, A3 to not be too big. So we have... Wait, shit. Wait, I, I remember this. This is the hard thing. Um... Um, if we fix Need the following lemma Pure algebra. Um, see, does anyone have a citation for this? Because I don't want to rewrite it again. I know how this is done. Um, what you do is you um, one proof is by. Um, Fixing the right hand side, then noting the left hand side is linear. In each AI. That, let me, let me see if I have a back rough. CGMO 2007 3, for example. Okay. Um, when K at least 4N, uh, we, it follows. <laughs> that AI, AI plus one, less than one for some index I. The, the two associated sides then carve out a triangle area at most one half. Okay, I'll just copy and paste my existing proof. Man, these scrapes are not seedless. Uh, yeah.
Okay, um... Damn. Even for an RMM-14, this is actually pretty tricky. <laughs> Find two that sum to less than or equal to two. Oh, that's a good point. <laughs> good point. Uh, okay, then, then let's not do this giant citation then. There should be two indices. There should be an index i with i i plus a i plus. Yeah, let, let's not do the giant citation if we don't need it. Yeah, this is this is tough, man. I I'm glad we got it actually. I look I think like there I don't always get this on stream. Like this is I think if Warren hadn't noticed that like the like three consecutive points on the Convex Hallworth post, I don't think I would have noticed. Oh! God Dude! Armin was a four problem contest back in those days. It was a four problem test. I I hate you. Uh <laughs> Cause I was looking at like even for RMM 14, this is really tough. But like, okay, fine. Uh Amazing. Uh Okay, now now I feel a lot less oh my god. Um, I was getting like, <laughs> wow, way to get baited. Uh, Oh, I haven't showed you uh, the. Oh, that would require closing a bunch of crap. Um, never mind, it's fine. I have a script now where AELPS is black and white, so I stop refreshing like the CNP forum reflexively. Um, but I haven't downloaded it on this account yet. Okay, um. It was a four problem contest back then. I I didn't realize. I didn't go that far back in RMM history as a kid, so I had no idea. Uh, well, well, okay, that happened. Uh, let's do an easy problem, all right?
Okay, uh, welcome back to... Um, okay, right, so this is a problem from the long list. We're just gonna... I think I already know what's gonna happen, so we're just gonna run it over, alright? So you have the Fibonacci sequence, and the thing about the Fibonacci sequence is that it has a formula. And that formula is alpha to the n minus beta to the n, uh, over... shit. What's the formula? Alpha minus beta... Where alpha and beta are, um, what you think they are. So, 1 half, 1 plus root 5. And beta equals half 1 minus root 5. And I want to show that um, this is like divisible by a, pri a lot of primes p. Uh, yeah. Um, I think back in that day, um, the IMO problems were not weighted equally. Like a really, really long time ago. Also, I'm not sure the team sizes were... Um, six either anyways yeah so um we need to show there are infinitely many primes p such that alpha to the p minus one is congruent to beta to the p minus one mod p uh and alpha is not congruent to beta where yeah anyways okay here, here here's the claim all right um if 5 is a quadratic residue mod p, then alpha, beta, in fp. So, um, yeah, kind of by definition. Um, if this was the other case of the problem where I was trying to show that there are Fibonacci numbers for which u p minus 1 is not divisible by p, then I actually have to talk about finite fields. But here I don't. I just need to say, like, look, square root 5 is a quadratic residue mod p. So you can make everything in mod p. Um, so the claim is true whenever... In fact, the claim is true for all... Actually, I'll, I'll, I'll be more specific, all right? Um, in fact, if p is 1 mod 5 plus minus 1 mod 5, then alpha to the p is alpha and beta to the p is equal to beta so we're okay because then they're both one conversely if p is plus minus one two mod five and p is greater than two i'm just gonna throw out p equals two as p equals two is the worst prime ever um they actually switch so in this case u p minus one is equal to uh beta over alpha Minus alpha over beta over alpha minus beta, which is like some crap. I don't, I don't, um, this is so overkill, it's not even funny, but uh, we're, we're gonna do it. Alpha plus beta divided by alpha beta, um, which I believe equals to shit. So, can someone come add these for me? It's like minus one over one minus. Equals one, I think. Let me check that. One, one, two, three, five, eight. Yeah, okay, cool. So, yeah, in fact, if P is plus minus one mod five, it's okay. If P is plus minus two mod five, you'll actually get exactly one mod P. Yeah, and we're done! Yeah! Okay. Dude, I love algebraic number theory. Um, Yeah, um, a lot of you probably don't know what happened because I just quoted a bunch of shit. Um, if that describes you, um, there's this really great textbook that I heard about. It's called like an infinitely large napkin written or, or something like that. I forget exactly who wrote it, but uh, apparently that guy's really cool. So you should read his stuff. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, it's like, and it, I think it's just, everyone just calls it napkin. I forget exactly what the full title is. Um, but just Google, like, I don't know. Yeah, so, something like that. I, I forget exactly what. Yeah, I'm sure you can find it. Someone, someone just posted a link for me. Thanks. Um...
あやっぱ、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、これは、Man, I really wanted that to fit on one line, but I don't think it's gonna fit. Okay. Uh, do I post on the AOPS thread? I feel it feels a little derpy. Um. Why not? Fucking ah.、Uh. Okay, so, um. Let me see, I've processed. So, yeah, today was basically just the RMM problem, huh? Okay, so, um. Yeah. Bumping 10 year old thread. I know, right? That's how I can build up my HSO count to make sure that the number of posts I have in HSO is always greater than the number I have in CNP. <laughs> There's literally a point last week where I noticed that, like, my, C my contest and programs post had overtaken my HSO count by, like, two. So I immediately went and, like, found three random easy problems to solve because I was like, no, we can't allow this. <laughs> Very shallow person. <laughs>、yeah. All right, so, um, yeah, I actually have、um, dinner plans later tonight. So. I might actually just end the stream here because apparently I need to go now. <laughs>、um, but three problems in two hours, most of which were RMM. So, God, it was a four problem test. <sighs> uh. 
Uh, so yeah, short stream today. Um, but thanks for dropping by, and we'll we'll be back to our regularly scheduled programming um, next week. Um, I really need to set this up ahead of time. It always takes me. Where, where's the credits button? Uh, here. I pressed this button, right? Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, and we'll refund all the points now. Ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. Yeah. I don't know, is the dotted problem fast? Uh, but you already told me that it's like Pascal on dotted, so yeah. Yeah. Alright, see y'all.